Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of your ships coming in. You're finally hearing back from someone, or you're seeing progress in a situation that you've been patient with. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so... There is someone here who wants to come towards you. They're rushing in. The Knight of Swords shows that they want to clear the air. They want to communicate with you about something. Um, they, they are rushing. They feel like they need to do this quickly. Um, but I do see there's something about you actually waiting on this person. You've been hoping to hear from them. Um, but for some reason, they feel as if you're getting away from them and that they need to act fast. Um, with the Seven of Cups, this could be someone who left you very confused or they could have treated you as if... Um, you know, they were very cautious to commit or they had options. There's an energy here of things with this person were very unclear and they're coming in to give you the truth. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which can show that this person, they do see themselves having some sort of long-term relationship with you. They do want to invest in something long-term with you here. Um, this could also be that they want to give you some news regarding a family situation. So let's clarify these cards, um, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So there's some things that this person, they, they felt like at the time they couldn't give to you or they couldn't open up to you. There's something that they, they held themselves back a lot in the past year, and it's because they, they had a very negative view of the situation or of themselves, and it was causing them to be held back in some way. But I'm seeing that they will be coming out of this Eight of Swords Energy. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Emperor. Aries energy, Page of Cups, Water energy, and the Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, so, and you could be dealing with someone who's very stubborn here, someone who likes to be in control with the Emperor energy there, and there's something about having to release control that fear that's, that makes this person very fearful with the Eight of um, Swords being there, but it's it's like, because they feel as if you're getting away from them, they, they feel prompted to take action. They feel like they need to give you the truth, although it will be there will be not too much emotion in this truth. It'll just be factual. Um, but with this Page of Cups, this is someone who is hoping for a new beginning here. They do want an old way of relating to you to die. They want some sort of change to take place, a transformation to happen here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Have meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces okay so they could be um there's a lot that you're going to have to digest yeah i'm seeing them revealing a lot to you because of the knight of cups it's someone who i mean the knight of swords it's someone who held back so much that once they do start talking it's a lot at once and it can be overwhelming for you when you hear this person's truth okay so i'm gonna put out another card for you So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this person feels pulled towards you. They're rushing in. They feel like 
they need to come towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Okay, so someone is taking a chance here. They're rushing towards you. They're taking that leap of faith. It's it's particularly scary for this person because this is someone who likes to have control, but they're feeling like they're losing control in the situation. So they are acting quickly here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. So we have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay, so that's the advice, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.